Hi everyone. So on today's video, I'm going to help you understand the topic of tax residencies and how commanding a good tax residency can help you a save a lot of taxes, b help you improve your quality of life. And I will do this in very simple language so that you get some actionable points out of it. I'll help you understand how to build your wealth by using internationalization in the sense that how to get like multiple citizenships in case you are aiming for that, how to shift your tax residencies, how to create international businesses, how to invest internationally, where to invest internationally. So this is the journey that I'll take you through. For people who do not know me, my name is Akshat Srivastav. In the past, I had worked with top tier consulting firms. Now I run my own hedge fund. I am a full time investor. I travel across the globe, study the investing world with HNIs and whatever knowledge that I'm gaining, I try to share it through my YouTube for the benefit of the audiences. So let us go point by point. Uh, number one point is that why should you have tax residencies? And the simple answer to that is very simple that hey, because the taxation in the world is growing. And on top of that, the quality of life across many parts of the world is just coming down. Now, what do I mean by that? So let me explain it by using an anecdote. So right now I'm in Dubai. I met a friend of mine who studied with me at INSEAD. So we had known each other for roughly 10 years now. And he's currently in Dubai. He had been living in Dubai right after his INSEAD days. And he was telling me that, you know what, Akshatan, like UK, so many problems are happening. Taxes have gone up. The economy has gotten stagnant. Nothing much is happening. A lot of problems are happening in terms of entire communal issues that are happening, racism and whatnot. And therefore, you know, he was very happy with his decision of shifting to the Middle East. On top of that, if we look at the migration patterns to the Middle East, a lot of people from UK and countries like Portugal, where is less growth happening, they are shifting to the Middle East, right? So this is a trend. From my own country, India, I can see that people have struggled on two fronts. One is that if we analyze the last two years budgets, let's go 2023 budget. One of the key changes that was made in 2023 budget was 20% TCS or tax collected at source rule, which simply said that hey, if you're sending money outside India, and if you want to send money from India to let's say US, then you have to block almost 200,000 US dollars. Okay, so which is like absolute crazy. This is already your taxed hard earned money. And just to send that, you have to block in 20% of your capital, which will be refunded to you after several months or maybe even after a year, depending on when you are making this transaction on already taxed income, right? Then we get to the topic very quickly about like the quality of life, right? So for example, UK and already covered in India, we are seeing that, you know what? The airport roofs are falling, new bridges are collapsing, rail accidents, all that stuff, it keeps on happening. So people really question that, you know what? Record amount of GST collection is happening. Record amount of tax collection is happening. Salary middle class, de facto, the taxation that has been put has been crazy. So where is all this tax money going? And people really start questioning that, hey, you know what, boss, what is the point of paying taxes? And is there something that we can do to avoid this situation? Now, see guys, I'm trying to teach you a complicated topic from a wealth building perspective. I want all of you to grow your wealth, build your wealth. I'm teaching you from that lens, from a wealth wisher. I have no interest in political debates, etc. So I'm just presenting you options. It's your call whether you want to execute, not execute. Please watch it with that lens. Okay. So with brings us to the solution called as tax residencies. So let me quickly explain the concept of tax residencies by using a few examples. Okay. So in in order to understand tax residencies, we first need to understand the concept of citizenship. So for example, if you hold an Indian passport, you are an Indian citizen. And in India, we have a concept of only singular citizenship and we do not have a system of dual citizenship, which in simple term means that if you are an Indian and then, you know, 15, 20 years ago, you settled in Canada and now you are a citizen of Canada, then you have to give up your Indian citizenship. So that is the concept of singular citizenship that India follows. But many other countries in the world, they follow multiple citizenship concept. For example, US. In the US, a US citizen can take multiple passports and can have multiple citizenships. Now this is a country wise difference. Now every country would have a different structure. But on the flip side, what Indians can typically do is that hey, if you are an Indian who is working in let's say UAE, and if you're working in UAE and let's say that you are making a salary of 50 lakh INR worth in dirhams, of course, then you will be paying how much tax? You will be paying zero tax in UAE and you'll be paying zero tax in India. Now, why is this the case? Because you are a tax resident of UAE and the personal income tax in UAE is 0%. So therefore, out of this 50 lakhs, you will be getting the entire amount as net amount. 
But on the flip side, if for some reason you are a tax resident of India, on this 50 lakh, you will be paying roughly 30% plus taxes easily, right, on this entire amount. So you'll be paying at least 15 lakhs as taxes. So in simple terms, the meaning of tax residency is that yes, you can be an Indian citizen who is working in Dubai and paying 0% tax in Dubai. The reason for that is that while you are a citizen of India, you are a tax resident of UAE. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. This is the first time I'm featuring my daughter on my YouTube channel. She would have grown up and said that you featured my brother but not feature me. So I brought her onto my video also. Uh, would just take a few seconds to explain what I'm doing next. So I have launched an NRI community. Now on this community, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to teach international diversification. I myself will be spending a lot of time in Dubai. So I'm learning a lot of strategies, trips, tricks. I keep traveling across the world, meeting a lot of HNIs, so how to invest in the US stocks, how to buy international real estate, international taxation, international business setup. So these are some of the topics that I will cover and also a lot of special classes, special notes are given to the NRI community. So in case you guys are interested in joining it, the link is in the description and comment box. With that said, let's move over to the main video. Okay, so a natural question comes, I also want to pay 0% taxes, what is it that I can do? Okay, so three, three options uh, primarily speaking and tax residencies also differ from country to country. For example, well, yes, if you're doing a job in UAE, then the chances are that you will be paying close to 0% tax on it, provided that you're an individual for corporate entities. The corporate tax is 9% in Dubai and it varies as per different Emirates. Now, but on the flip side, if you are an Indian who is working in the US, you are, might be a tax resident of US and in that respect, you might be paying even 35-40% tax in the US, right? So it really depends in terms of where your tax residency is. So this is a very important question to figure out, right? This is one. And one way of getting or changing your tax residency is that you go and figure out a job in that particular country. Yes, if your goal is to pay 0% tax, then finding a job in UAE can really help. So this is point one or strategy one. The second way of shifting your tax residency is that you build a business in some other country. Now, a natural question will come that, you know what, building a business in India itself is very tough. So how do we go outside and build a business? Is it easy to do? Do we need to be citizens in that country to do it? Again, this is a country specific question. In some countries, it's easier to do a business. In some countries, it is very, very difficult for expatriates to build a business. So you really need to be country specific here. But in terms of the complexity of the business, the simplest business that people build is by investing. For example, people come to Dubai, they invest 2 million AED or 2 million dirhams, right, which approximately is equal to 4.6 CR. They get a golden visa, right? Golden visa allows the expatriates to live in that particular country or in UAE for 10 years. And basically with this 2 million AD, they might have procured, let's say two uh, properties or maybe like one property. Now they are renting it out. Now this is generating some income. So let's say they are generating 100,000 AED on per year basis. What will be the tax paid on this 100 KAD. Well, the tax or the chances are that you'll be paying close to 0% tax provided that you are not a tax resident of India. Now, what is the meaning of provided you're not a tax resident of India? So for this, you need to understand these two snippets. So, so I will just quickly show it to you. So the first key point regarding tax residency is that, for example, let's say that you come to Dubai, you buy like two properties, you, you know, you shift your business here and that simplest business that you have built. But after buying the property, you say that, you know what, okay, like, you know, Middle East is very, very expensive, this, that stuff. You go back to India and start spending like 10 months a year in India. Now, if you do that, then you will fall under this particular section. And it says that in India, fiscal year starts from 1st April to 31st March. And generally, an individual is said to be resident in India or a tax resident in India if he is in India for more than 182 days in India. So I hope you got the point that this then starts falling in that gray area and Indian government can ask you that, hey, you are saying that you are a tax resident of Dubai, but you have been living in India for the last 10 months in this time frame. So pay taxes here, right? So then you will have to pay not 0% tax, but maybe a lot more taxes. So this is one of the many criteria that you need to fulfill that if you're trying to shift your tax residencies, then number one, you have to first and foremost shift your tax residency out of India. So this is step one that you have to ensure that you're not a tax resident of India. Then you move to further requirements. Now, what are those further requirements? So 
the further requirement could be that number one you if you are doing a job then you need to have an employment visa in dubai or america or canada wherever you are working this is or if you are setting up a business then you need to have a valid trade license in dubai they issue trade licenses and depending on the trade license that you are taking and the number of days that you are staying in dubai they will issue you a tax residency so in simpler words number one step is that shifting your tax residency out of india number two is getting a tax residency in uae it can be done through a job it can be done through setting up a business or by making an investment where you get to live in dubai for x number of days and that automatically shifts your tax residency this brings us to an important conversation you might say that you know what okay in india i have like these 20 rental units which are making money in india and I, what i'll do is that i'll go to dubai and i will get a golden visa i'll i don't mind spending like four and a half five cr and whatever income i'm making in india from my properties i will shift that money to dubai and i will pay 0% tax you can't do that okay so that is the concept of origination income and i will give you very quick clarity on that topic so here the concept of origination of income or territorial taxation is very simple that see these three houses are in india they are each generating 1 lakh rupee of rent right so you are making 3 lakh rupee now you can go and live wherever you feel like in dubai in Armenia in Germany wherever you are feeling like but see this is India's originated income and therefore you have to pay Indian taxes on it as an NRI right so this is an important point that you must understand that you can only possibly shift certain income streams which are outside India so this brings me to the final section as to what type of income streams you can shift to other more tax efficient residencies while the options are limitless but I'll just take you through a few that can help you understand this concept more so the first is that let's say that you are making money on the internet and you are providing internet based services right for example resume review right so you are sitting in india doing resume review getting money in hdfc bank account or whatever you are paying like whatever depending on your income levels you might be paying 30 35 percent tax now if you just simply move to dubai how much tax you might be paying on this a you have to set up the business there will be an operating cost but the tax paid on it might be close to nine percent so this is one that internet businesses can be shifted second is consultancy right the example that i gave was an example of consultancy right and consultancy can be of different types for example you could be a real estate consultant you could be a software consultant you could be a startup consultant you can be a life coach so 100 different options are there third is that you are shifting your software firm for example many web3 businesses shifted out of india because of lack of clarity lack of other different things and many tech based businesses right uh, and they are software based so to say uh, they have shifted to other destinations final is export oriented businesses now, now for example if you're sitting in india doing some kind of export which you don't necessarily need to from india then maybe shifting your base might make sense right so this is all the preliminary information that i could give you now this is a deeply complicated topic but i hope that you got an understanding of what tax residencies are and it might prompt you to read more about this topic now this is actually an option that will come up more and more as different countries across the globe they restructure their taxation system as certain countries put on more and more taxes then citizens will be forced to explore other tax residencies so getting a head start on this topic could be a worthwhile investment of your time so definitely learn more about it and this is a growing channel if you support it if you like subscribe share that would really mean a lot thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon